This video is about the formula that computes the exact volume enclosed by subdivision surfaces with sharp creases. Surfaces of this type are used in modeling and animation. The earliest prominent use is perhaps in Pixar's 1997 short film Jerry's Game. The two popular subdivision algorithms that have been extended to allow for sharp creases are loop for triangle meshes and catmull clark for quad meshes. The refinement rules along the crease edge is identical to cubic B-spline subdivision for curves. We begin with a few examples. Four unit cubes glued together and three cycles designated as sharp creases in this fashion results in a catmull clark subdivision surface that encloses a volume of about 2.96. The exact value is the fraction indicated. The tetrahedron with all edges length 1 and one triangle boundary selected as sharp crease results in a piecewise smooth loop subdivision surface with enclosed volume of about 0.03. The exact value is the fraction indicated. The volume formula also applies to more sophisticated designs. In this example, we can show that the volume of the limit surface is about 83.6% of the volume of the initial control mesh. We can see that the surface normal is generally not continuous across the sharp crease. Let's recall the volume formula for ordinary loop subdivision surfaces. The volume enclosed by the limit surface is a sum over all triangles in the mesh. The XYZ coordinates of the points of the one ring of a triangle are made input to a trilinear form. The trilinear form only depends on the topology of the one ring. The type of the one ring is essentially characterized by the valence of the non-regular vertex. Here we display valence 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. The dimension of the trilinear form grows as the valence of the vertex increases. The volume formula for loop subdivision surfaces with sharp creases is of the same prototype. And the trilinear forms that we mentioned earlier still apply for triangles that are not adjacent to the crease. However, if a triangle shares one or more vertices with the crease, the new crease subdivision rules affect the surface associated to the triangle and different trilinear forms apply. We illustrate a few topologies of facets adjacent to a sharp crease. Control points from the other side of the crease do not affect the surface associated to the triangle. Therefore, the dimensions of the trilinear forms are slightly reduced, 6 by 6 by 6, 8 by 8 by 8, etc. Since the global volume is a sum over the volume contribution of each triangle, we can color each facet based on their contribution. Here are three example meshes. Now let's move on to Catmull Clark with sharp creases. Fortunately, the volume formula is still of the same prototype. The sum is over all quads of the mesh. The trilinear forms derived earlier for ordinary catmull clark surfaces still apply to the quads that are not adjacent to the crease. For quads adjacent to the sharp crease, our publication enumerates common topologies and derives the trilinear forms that compute the volume contribution of the quad. Dimensions are 9 by 9 by 9, 12 by 12 by 12, and growing. Here, each quad is color-coded color based on the relative contribution to the global volume for three example meshes. The coefficients of the trilinear forms apply universally to all closed orientable meshes. You can download the collection of alternating trilinear forms that determine the volume enclosed by the subdivision surface from my website. Thank you for watching.